Hello legends, you're watching Everything Football and this is latest show with Chooks and Otis. Here we bring you latest news, latest transfer news, latest football speculation. Okay, so we're going to kick off with Manchester United's interest in Joshua Zegzi, the Bologna striker. Manchester United is expected to meet his 40 million euros release clause. So Chooks, what are your thoughts on this? Joshua Zegzi to United. See, if United were very smart, they would rush that deal ASAP. He's the perfect striker to replace Marshall at United. Currently, he has rejected the likes of Arsenal and AC Milan and wants to come to United. What United to do is just trigger his release close and we have him. Let's not make the same mistake we did with Julian Alvarez. Like, they were the front runner for his signature, then all of a sudden, they just went out of the race. This is best known to them. But Zexi is quite similar to Alvarez. He's a ball playing striker. He controls the ball. He does things with the ball that most strikers they don't do. He will fit into a Tehan 6 especially when we are trying to play a first night. At the ending of last season, Tehan, he came up with a formation whereby he was not playing with a striker, he was playing with a first night. And you see Zexi, he can fit into that system perfectly. He can still even fit into the system whereby you are playing with in a, a normal number 9. He's not your regular old-fashioned number 9, but he will give us something really different from Holland. We actually need that in Manchester United, especially the fact that Masha just left. And you know, Masha and Holland, they are two different types of strikers. We need that at Manchester United. And Manchester United can even pair the likes of Zexi and Holland. That is based on the formation or based on the team that they are playing. And it will be very, very productive. United should make this the quick as possible because he will be a good piece for United going forward. Yeah, Trix, I agree with you. Joshua Zexi is going to add a lot of dynamics, a lot of dynamism to Manchester United's attack, and he should be signed as soon as possible. Let's talk about the Euros. It has not been quite the campaign for Robert Lewandowski. First of all, he started off injured, and now Poland are officially the first team to be eliminated from the Euros. I feel really sad for Lewandowski because this could be like his last Euros and injury made it a terrible one for him. Like he didn't even start, he didn't start the first game. Even in this second game, he was not fit to play based on the injury but he just had to come because his team was struggling, his team near him, they were losing 2-1. He had to come up and when he came up, he didn't really do one before the third group came in. So I really feel bad for Lewandowski because this might be his last Euros. I was not impressed with Polar's playing at all. I said it in our post-match reaction, I was not impressed with that play. They were drawing the game 1-1 at halftime. But you were defending. Why? It's just half time. It's not even up to 80, the 80th minutes you are defending. Progression was zero. I think it, it was based on the fact that Lewandowski was not up front. Because if Lewandowski was up front, at least the ball would have been going more to him. Like he would always be demanding from the ball. So I really feel bad for Lewandowski and I really wish that he could have been involved more in this Euros. Yeah, it's been quite the unfortunate campaign for Robert Lewandowski. Let's move on to interesting news, interesting updates. Michael Olise. He saw interest from Chelsea, Manchester United, Newcastle. Information reaching us is that Michael Olise has rejected a proposal to increase his contract with Crystal Palace. Okay, and has agreed personal terms with Bayern Munich as his next club. So Bayern, Newcastle, and Chelsea all wanted Olise, but um, the player's decision is now clear. He has picked Bayern Munich. Did you see this happening from the onset? The turn of events now. Only said just use the likes of Manchester United and Chelsea to up his value. When the likes of Manchester United and Chelsea are going for you, means that you are a host prospect. Chelsea later went out of the race before this news of him joining Bayern. They must have thought of you that ah, we don't really need this guy. Consider the option that we have in that position. And secondly, the money Crystal Palace was calling for him, they, they thought of that this money is much. His proposed salary. So one of the other reasons that Chelsea actually declined for him is because Crystal Palace was like, okay, we are giving you a new deal. This deal to Bayern is just only looking out for himself because firstly he has rejected a more improved contract proposal given by Topalas and now agreeing personal terms with Bayern. And I felt that him not getting called up by France for the Euros 2024 played a major role because he would have thought of it that going to Bayern would make people see him more. When the France manager or the staff comes to watch Coma play games in Bayern, like they will still check him out and say, okay, ah, this guy is good. Like you see him playing. Playing for Bayern guarantees you playing Champions League football every season and a chance to win a minimum of one trophy every season. A 60% chance of winning the Bundesliga and also a chance is a chance, not a big, not a wider chance, but a chance to win the Champions League every season you play there. So it's a good deal for him if he eventually goes to Bayern. And the thought of Olise, Kane, Musala, Gnabry, and Kuma is, is going to be really crazy. So Bayern, on the other hand, is trying so hard to make sure that they collect the lead. If this deal is done, it's going to really be a good deal for both sides. 
All right, so it is Michael Olisson looking out for himself. That's it from us. But a quick recap, Manchester United are expected to meet the 40 million euros release clause of Joshua Zegzi from Bologna. And um, Poland are officially the first team to be kicked out of Euro 2024. And Michael Olisi has rejected the contract extension with Crystal Palace and has agreed personal terms with Bayern Munich. Give this video a like. This is latest news with Chooks and Otis. If you like our videos and would like to be a part of our young and growing YouTube community, just hit on this part of our screen and subscribe to our channel. You're going to see our videos the moment they are released. Give, leave us your thoughts in the comment section. We're going to give you a kind response. And from Chooks and myself, it's going to be bye for now.